So in the last video we'd got to the stage where we've got a player that can jump up and down thus and we've got a whole bunch of blocks along the ground. Uh, next plan is to have an, the enemy like the chrome dinosaur game, a bunch of stuffed cactuses and so on, cacti come along here and we have to jump over them. Uh, yeah so let's do that. It's going to take a couple of stages I think. What we'll begin with um, so we've got to think about enemies and enemy lists and so on. So it's going to start right up here. I'm thinking about rendering to begin with. Copy, paste, enemy list. Now we don't need any enemies right at the beginning, so I'm not going to put anything else into the init here. But I am going to go down to the rendering and I'm going to say again, copy and paste. And this will be enemy list again. So that's resolved that. Now on update I want it to randomly create um, a new enemy. Of course random is super important in games. Random elements are really common. Uh, so we're just going to start by importing the random library. Uh, and here's my plan. I'm going to make it so that um, I'm going to say if the random dot random function that random dot random returns a decimal number between zero and one, and if we're doing this every frame, if we say if that random number is less than, I'm going to pick something arbitrary, and we'll see you later. Uh, I think that'll be too big, 0 0.1. So one time in ten, probably this is going to do something which in our case is going to be generate an enemy. Now I have done a bit of this over here which I shall just copy and paste directly into here just to save a bit of time. So I thought that would be a useful thing to use as an enemy. Um, I set it off 1200 over on the right hand side of the screen and then I append that to my enemy list. Right. Now we're not going to actually see that yet because he's off the right of the screen. Let's just check though. It's always good to check what we're doing. If I put it say somewhere a little bit closer and check that he actually appears and is in roughly the right kind of place. Actually that enemy dot bottom equals zero is wrong isn't it because he's going to be slightly underneath. So I'm going to have to put him up a bit. 64 do you think? Would that be right? Try it. If it doesn't work try something different. That's perfect. Um, so I'll change that to 1200 or 1250 so it actually spawns off the right hand side of the screen. And what I'm going to do is, because we might have more than one enemy on the screen, I'm going to loop through them. So I'm going to say for enemy in enemy list. And it's not enemy list of course, it's self dot enemy list. Still haven't talked about why I use self have I? In good time. And I am going to say enemy dot and it's center x and I'm going to subtract one. I'll do for now. And uh, I think that should be enough to just move it from the right to the left. I guess we can only find out one way. Testing. Testing is always good. And we've got to wait for one of them to be generated and then it to appear on the right. Uh, I think that's a bit slow, let's be frank. Uh, and also it seems to be generating really a lot of them. Hmm. I think we just need to tweak some numbers here. So let's go with less than 0 0.01. So that's uh, a tenth as many. And let's subtract 10 each time. I think that's going to be... A probably too fast. So a tenth of the number of them and ten times as many of them. And that tenth doesn't hmm that seems poor as well. I'm not happy with that. If I put it in the wrong place, ah, look at that. I'll put it inside the random function. Really, I'm going to leave this in the video because it's really useful. Just thinking about the indentation. So I've got this if statement 
and only if the random is less than 0.91 does it do whatever's indented, which includes moving the enemy. So if I shift tab, so it's no longer in there, this will happen every tick now, which was not happening before. Oh, I'm such a... Well, I've uh, made a mistake. We all make mistakes, don't we? So here, we here they come, and I can jump over them, and there's no collision stuff happening yet. I think we'll do the collision next video.